Um, this is a play called A Murder is Announced. Uh, it's a play by Agatha Christie. Um, I'm sure you'll be familiar with Agatha Christie, and it's a Miss Marple thriller. Uh, it's one of her latest, adapted from one of her later novels. It was actually her 50th um, novel. Um, an excellent whodunit, which keeps the audience guessing right until the very end. I think it does keep the audience guessing right until the very end. There's uh, lots of red herrings and um, various twists and turns. Because it is a murder mystery play, it's very plot driven uh, and we've been very conscious of that all the way through the rehearsal process really. You are led from one point to an ultimate end point via various different routes. Unfortunately that's not going to be very exciting to watch unless the people who you watch are fully developed characters. So what we try to do is, is really, really drag out the characters in the play and I think we're doing it really successfully. The play centres around uh, a lady called Miss Letitia Blacklock and she owns uh, a little cottage in a village called Chipping Cleghorn, which is a fictitious village in, uh, in the English Shires. Uh, and she lives with her long-time companion, a lady called Bunny, and she also lives with her niece and nephew, Patrick and Julia, and another young lodger, a lady called Philippa Hames. Um, they're a bit of a ragtag ensemble really, they've kind of uh, been thrown together into this house and uh, Letitia Blacklock is very much as you would expect, very upper middle class, very proper. Um, her companion Buddy is delightfully eccentric in, the, in that very British way um, and the kids are um, not particularly likeable but um, uh, but, you know, developed enough characters to make them interesting, I think. You two been having secret meetings, Eddie? Hatching for something? There was nothing secret about it. And we're not hatching anything. No. No, no. By no means. There's obviously Miss Marple, who needs very little introduction. Yes, sir. When the last went out. Would you like me to leave? I mean, I was coming up the drive. So you were outside when you heard the shots? I was inspector. And as you will realise, I came in through the back door. <laughs> the <back> door. <laughs> We've tried to really create our own Miss Marple, and I think that's 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 been possible because there isn't one definitive version. Our Miss Marple is um, is very fun, I think, a very fun portrayal of the character um, and very watchable. Um, there's the obligatory laconic uh, police inspector but again we've tried to play around with his character and especially we've tried to play around with the interplay between him and Miss Marple um, and how their relationship develops throughout the course of the play. Um, there's been a lot of Marple and uh, Agatha Christie stuff on TV recently. I think it's just perennially popular. Ultimately it's just a really fun night out. It's, you know, it's a bit of escapism. It's well done, it's really well performed, it's going to be beautifully staged um, and you know, for 13 quid or 11 if you're a concession, you know, there aren't really many things you can do for a night which are more fun than that, for, for less money really, so I'd just encourage you to get out and see it. It's only on for five nights and if you miss it then it'll have been a shame to be honest.